What's up everybody, Life's Apprentice. Um, today we're gonna be doing a little video about Stop It. Um, this will actually be a two or a three part video. Um, today we're just gonna be doing Stop It. The next couple videos coming out will be fascia and gutters and downspout. If you look behind me here, um, this is what we're installing. Um, this is a white aluminum vented soffit. This comes in 12 foot pieces, 16 inches wide, and then you cut it down to um, your length. So our length here is like 23 and a half or something like that. Um, but this part is all done. This is the part I'm going to be showing you. Um, we still have to put some trim on here. And we're going to be doing this entire run all the way down to there. The first thing we did was six and a quarter. So I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna cut it at six and a quarter. I'm not gonna cut it off, I'm just gonna cut it. So the next measurement we had was 23 and a half. So I'm just gonna cut it there. You don't have to do it this way, this is gonna be the easiest way. Um, and it's going to be more aesthetically pleasing to do it this way. So now see how I cut that? Now I can bend it. So I'm going to bend it just like that. I'm going to do the same on here. So if you guys remember, up there, that's what this is going to look like when it's up on the wall. So we'll take that up. See how it's all one piece because I didn't cut it off? You don't have to do it this way, but this is going to be the fastest, easiest, and uh, in my opinion, the best way to do this. All right, well, you can see down here, we have our piece. This is the J trim. This is what our soffit is going to go into um, to finish it off. And you can see here how it fits in. And, well, that's got to get pushed in just a little bit further, but I'll do that in a second. Now this, I like to screw especially in this uh, situation because if you were doing siding and soffit you would do the soffit first and then this siding trim right here would actually hold this up in this case where this house is already vinyl sided so we're doing this after the fact so i like to screw this um, so we're just going to go through and screw this about every 16 18 inches whatever you prefer whatever whatever it really needs um, let me go through and screw this all off. And uh, we're going to get this screwed off and then we're going to start installing some soffit. So this is our soffit panel cut to size. Um, you can see here there's a female edge here and there's a male edge here. So we're running this way, we're gonna have our female edge going this way. Now this first piece, we're gonna get it in the J channel and we're gonna have to trim it around this uh, little bump here. So I'm just gonna mark it right here and then I know that that piece of J channel was um, six and a quarter inches. So I'm going to come over six and a quarter inches from that mark and I'm going to mark it. And it's right there. So I'm just going to take a snip. I'm not drawing these lines straight. Um, but don't do it like this, I guess, if uh, you're not comfortable with it. So now we have our piece cut out for this right here. I'm probably going to have to loosen up this screw just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our piece into the J back here. You can see this. Um, it's into the J channel. We got it into the J channel here. And then we're just going to work it over. This is kind of hard to do with gloves on. And there 
you have it. We're just going to kind of try to make sure that it's square. We want to start out as square as possible, but if you do get a little bit off square, it's not the end of the world. Um, and then we have a staple gun, and you don't you don't need this, but what you're going to do is right here on this edge is where you want to fasten it. So we're going to put a staple right here. You can do this with screws or nails or whatever, but this will not be showing this portion right here when we put our next panel on. So I'm just going to put one right there. And then because we're not doing the fascia, the fascia is essentially what holds this part of the, of the soffit on. Since we're not going to be doing that today and it's windy, I'm going to put an extra one right here. And you can do that with a nail or a screw or whatever. Um, eventually when we put the fascia on there'll be more nails right here and that's going to help hold this on. But that's essentially how you get it started and now we're going to run this entire length out. We shouldn't have to cut anymore or notch, notch anymore. We're just going to start running them all the way across. Alright, well I got a couple on. I just wanted to get past this downspout so we can have a little bit better angle to, uh, to show you um, how these panels actually go together. Like I said, there's a male side and there's a female side. Here's your female side. And the male side is gonna go like this. So what I like to do is I like to get, see how it's slipped together? You see this part right here? How it's actually in there? And then what I do is just take my hand and slide it. And then you're just gonna work it into the J channel here. And see how these little things are gonna wanna get caught so it can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but it's really not hard. Now, we left ourselves a little bit of room in the back, and we ha we don't want to be too tight out on the front. So I kind of moved it. It's not tight in the back, and it's not tight in the front. It's kind of right in between. We just want to make sure that this reveal right here is the same and locked in. Um, and then we're, we're not going to put any pressure on it. We're just going to hold it up flat. I'm going to put a staple there and a staple right there and what this staple is going to do right now is just hold it from flapping in the wind so we're going to run some of these down i'm not going to show you all of it that's essentially how they go together it's that simple and we're going to keep running this down and i'll show you when we get to this little bump out where it changes sizes see right here where it bumps out about an inch um, what i did was this j channel was running all the way up so i cut that down just a little bit so i can get my my j channel where it needs to be so I measured from here to here is 25 and a half, and then I did the same thing I did in the other one. I just I just cut straight in here and cut straight in here, and then I determined my uh, my length, which I said is about an inch right there, and then I left this tab on here, and I'll show you why in a second. So the the this is really important that you do this in one piece because this piece is so small that it's going to be really hard to fasten. So this is going to go like this, and we're going to screw it in. Oop, there goes my screw. Put a couple of screws in this. Now we're going to have to add a piece here going that way. Um, so I'll show you what I do there. And that this, this here is actually all going to get covered up. Um, this garage was an addition and whoever did it kind of did everything funky So we're actually going to bend a piece of metal when we do the fascia to cover this up um, But I mean you run into this kind of stuff all the time on houses um, Nothing we did we didn't side this house. We had nothing to do with any of this, but you run into goofy spots like this Just about everywhere every house has something goofy So all I've done here is just cut a 45 an outside corner um, and then this piece is going to meet up with this piece. You see how that goes? Just like that. Um, show them from down here. See how that is? There's a little bit of gap there, but that's okay. Um, I don't do tabs and all that kind of stuff on uh, Soffit J channel. You don't have to worry about water flow as much with Soffit. Um, and then when we when we build like we're gonna put a Z piece in here, it'll butt up to all this kind of stuff. So you look down, 
this is the full length piece and we're right back on track but our soffit length is going to change right here we're going to have to keep that in mind when we're cutting it but we're going to go through and just screw this just like everything else If you look down we have all the soffit on and we're at the very last piece here so I have my J channel running here um, you don't need this if you're putting fascia on right away I'm putting it on because we're not putting the fascia on right away um, this will help hold it from the wind um, but it's it's probably just a good idea to, to put this on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure right here and if you can see I have like eight and three quarters tight and about eight and three quarters tight so we're gonna want to go about eight and a half inches so let's uh pop down here's our piece and the nice thing about the vented soffit is a lot of times you can um i'm gonna measure from here we're gonna go about eight and a half so you can see where eight and a half ends up i'm just gonna mark that for reference we're gonna be right there and then you can draw a line I'm not going to I'm just gonna follow the line on the panel and I'm just gonna cut this this is just a normal uh, this is an offset tin snip um, these are made by Midwest they're called but there's lots of different brands I'm partial to these Midwest ones I've been using them for years and I really like them they're one of the more expensive snips but they last really good and they cut just they cut really really nice these things are probably i don't know 25 bucks for a green and uh, 25 bucks for a red so they're kind of expensive compared to some of the other ones but they're worth it these things have seen many years of service so we're gonna pop this guy in what i'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do I'm just going to slide it in. And when we get to the back here. here so it doesn't rattle and slide around and that is how you finish it well that's essentially how you install a straight run of soffit um, that was pretty pretty easy it wasn't very complicated I'm going to show you some of the troublesome areas some spots like this this is one of the spots we'll be doing next this is still just a straight run but there's little differences to it especially up there where it meets the roof and then uh, I'll show you uh, some of these peaks and stuff. Right, we are underneath this uh, spot here where this meets up with the roof. I don't know how well you can see that. But uh, I have my piece cut like I showed you down there. It's really important that this stays in one piece because you're really not going to be able to get any nails or screws up there. So essentially this corner and the first soffit panel will have to be really tight because that's what's going to hold it up to the roof there so you don't get bats and all that kind of stuff in there. Now there is a flashing um, up underneath there from the roof which we did this roof so I put that flashing in there and basically all that is is just a piece of upside down D edge. Um, I knew that I'd be covering it up eventually with soffit. So we have this piece, I'm just going to leave it long, it's plenty long enough um, to meet the end here. I'm just going to leave it long and we are going to uh, install this. You can see that first panel takes a little bit of finesse to get in there. Um, I did have to cut it just slightly on an angle um, so that it will hold that J channel up against the roof nice and tight. But now we're just going to work these out as normal. So this is our last piece. You can see when I fasten it, um, you're going to have this. See that? You get good wind, 
that's just gonna flop around like that. I'm gonna show you a little trick. So this piece originally, this was the full piece, right? And I cut this piece off, this is junk. But I'm gonna show you how I use this. Now, you're not always gonna have to do this because if you end somewhere near one of these, you're not gonna have this big um, spot like this where it's gonna flap around. So what we're gonna do with this is prevent that from happening. So we're essentially gonna use this as a backer and I'm just gonna put it in just like this. I'm just going to staple it. Oh, I'm on a staple. So we have that stapled, and you can kind of see what that's going to do. Now we're going to stick this new this piece in again. Okay, now I'm going to put some staples in it, or nails, or whatever you guys are using. But now look, see how that holds that? Now when the wind blows, you're not going to get, if you ever heard that noise on a house, it's most likely that. Um, so you can see that added that rigidity behind there where it's, it's not going to flap in the wind anymore. A little pro tip. See, we got all the soffit done on the entire house. This is the front. You didn't uh, get to see any of this. I didn't want to film on this side because this morning the light was kind of bad for this side. We got everything all done. There's a couple goofy spots. This garage over here was an addition. And uh, if you can see right there where the heights are a little bit different. Um, we'll either put a piece of metal there or just caulk that. Um, I had the same thing on the back side, but all this is done. This spot was fun right here. We got a Harbor Freight little shed. We couldn't get a ladder in, so we had to, Dakota had to hang onto my legs while I held, hung over the roof. And here's the back side. All this. It's a lot of footage. Um, it's over 200 feet soffit we started yesterday and we got all the soffit on today and the gutters off and all the fascia measured and uh, we'll be doing the fascia in the next video um, so stay tuned for that you'll get to see how we do the fascia and everything so if you guys like this video um, stay tuned for part two it'll be on my channel in the next week or so um, but if you like this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next